Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Saturday the 20th of November 2021. I'm in a new destination and quite quickly I was able to find some oyster mushrooms. They are quite dry, not in the best condition, but this tree has several clusters on it. Also on the other side, a bit more up. It's just a bit difficult to get there through the bushes. But you should be able to see it now. I will try to zoom a bit. There they are. But these are not in the best shape and they are quite close to the car, so if I take some of them it will be at the end if I don't find anything better. To my surprise I keep finding some coprinosis and you can also see the black residuals of some old ones. There are some fresh ones here, also here, and a bigger one here. But for oyster mushrooms not much luck yet. And some more. I think the English name is Ink Cup or Inky Cup. I believe it's because of the black liquid they turn to when they get old. This is a really huge one. I'm not taking them. They should be edible when they are really fresh. But this is not what I came here for. Another fresh family of them. These look very nice. I have moved to another forest and here I keep finding parasol mushrooms. I wouldn't say this is Macrolepiota procera because they are quite small but it must be a species which is very closely related. I found two of them before and two of them now. Maybe I will take them when I will go home. Another interesting mushroom. They are very similar to chanterelles. I mean the golden ones. But the color is more to orange tones. And this one is not edible. But they are nice colorful mushrooms. There is another beautiful parasol mushroom. This one is so nice I will most probably take a picture of it. I decided to not pick the parasols because I will not have time to cook them. But here I can see another one. Again, a nice piece. Again, some interesting finds. These two are Amanita citrina. Not sure if in English the name could be the false dead cup. Then I have another parasol mushroom, quite a big one. 
and also a fly agaric. So we have jumped to Sunday the 21st of November because yesterday I didn't find anything else that would be worth of showing and today I decided to go and check the oyster mushrooms that I was speaking last week and decided to leave some of them to grow bigger. This cluster looks like it is already starting to get a bit dry so I think it's the best time to pick it. It went out quite easily. Yeah, the edges look like they are starting to get dry, but it's still okay to pick, I think. And on the other side, in the meanwhile, I can see some coprinosis. And also a very tiny cluster of oyster mushrooms. As well, next to this group of coprinosis, we have tiny oysters here. Here I also have the very tiny ones that I let grow last time. They didn't get too much bigger, I will not take them, maybe they will get dry, maybe there will be some rain and they will grow bigger, maybe I will check that in the next weeks. A new mushroom, I think this is the Armillaria species, which in English uh, should be called the honey fungus. Now I have found many sulfur tufts. So guys, that's it for this weekend. As you can see, there is not much going on in my favorite forests. But never mind. If the weather doesn't get any better, I will start preparing some best of videos from this year. And if we have better weather, then I will maybe check the forest again. Uh, before we finish, I will play one footage from last weekend. Let's jump into it now. Now just very shortly. I want to show you how the wild enoki mushrooms look like. I think in Japanese it's called enoki take. And now let's take them. This is how they look like from the bottom. I love the gills and all the colors of this mushroom overall. Really beautiful.
so it's not much but it will be okay for some scrambled eggs at least I will finally try them so that was the wild enoki from last weekend and that's it for today so thank you all for watching and see you next time bye bye